you know, one of my favorite movies is Saturday Night Fever, and uh, it's such a strange uh, pop culture item to me because it is an incredibly dark, brutal movie. Yes, it is. And it is remembered somehow. Is this like Family Dance a thon <laughs> movie? And have you ever watched the R rated version of Saturday Night Fever? Politically incorrect on every single level you have ever imagined yes. the movie should be. And very harsh. And very harsh and uh, brutal. Yeah. What was it? And I mean, that's why I love it. I mean, those are the sort of my wheelhouse. <laughs> but what was it like for you when that movie suddenly became, you know, families were approaching you and doing the dance and it became this iconic thing that like everybody knew? But yet much like Greece, the, the, the parts that were, you know, questionable were ignored. You know, yeah. people forget that. You know, Rizzo broke a prophylactic, and they're in the back of the seat. Right. There, no one's registering all that, you know, or that she might be pregnant or whatever. I mean, it, for the 50s. So Saturday Night Fever is not dissimilar. All the, the, the harsh curse words that were used that are never used in any movie. I don't even, I don't think, if I, if I could be wrong, but I don't think there's ever been a, a, a more cursing in one movie than in Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> And words that we're not allowed to use yeah. today on film. So uh, I think that it was, it was uh, cleverly ignored because the joy of dance upstaged any darkness that anyone was looking at. I honestly thought we were making a little slice of life movie, a little art movie. I never anticipated it being a giant hit. I was just hoping it would be like The Fanatic. Right. I thought it would be a little movie, you know? It not, I never imagined it being a commercial success. Grease I did because I did the Broadway show and it, it was the, the biggest hit in, in the history of Broadway. So at that point, so that I anticipated success. But Saturday Night Fever I thought was just this little, little tiny movie. Well, it know? becomes this iconic thing divorced from the context of the story and the movie that you yes. made, which is just an interesting thing when that happens. It, it is, it is. You know, like Pulp Fiction never really got that. You never had families really walking around quoting Pulp Fiction with their children. It well, always stayed within the context. Oddly of the enough, <laughs> they do. Maybe, maybe, maybe my family, but we were weird. <laughs> no, I mean, no, after 20 years of that movie, you would be amazed uh, at the families that use, and I say, he's 12, really? You let him watch it? <laughs> She's eight. I don't know, you know. <laughs>